Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover synchronizing timer. Before moving to the synchronizing timer, first we need to understand why we need this. So I'm taking an example like I want my five users will hit request one and then I want all the user concurrently will hit the request two as well. So if I apply five user over here and execute this, in that case, first, these five users are going to hit request one. But it might be possible for the two users, we are getting response from the server. And for three users, server is delaying the response. In that case, two users will move to the request two and rest three will move to the request two after some time. But the requirement over here is all the five users need to be hit this request two concurrently. If you want to implement that kind of scenario until specified number user are coming till then no user should execute the request two. In that case, in that kind of scenario, we can go for synchronizing timer. So I'm going to add synchronizing timer and here we have a synchronizing timer. Here we can define number of users that I want to hold. I'm defining five. So I'm saying like until the five users are coming to this point, don't allow any user to move ahead. And I'm again adding this timer as a child of the request too how it's going to be execute first it is going to execute request one all the five users will execute request one and then it will move to the request two but child of the request two is synchronizing timer and timer has more priority than sampler so all the users will come to the timer first and we have synchronizing timer that we have applied like until five users are coming on this point don't allow to move ahead so once all the five users are coming to the timer, then timer will release all these five users to the request two. So by this way, we can implement the scenario. So as of now, what I'm doing, I'm removing the synchronizing timer. And first I'm trying to execute without synchronizing timer. So here we see five users are going to the request one and so all the five users ran request one and then request two. I tried to apply 20 users over here and then I want to execute it. So if I'm executing, so here we can see 20 users are on the application as of now and But the problem is that here we can understand request one is getting response from the server very early. So in that case, this user will move to the request two immediately. But I want until all the user get response from the request one, they should not move to the request two. Or we can say in other words, request two on sampler two or the page two should be hit by all the user concurrently. So in that case, I'm going to add timer, which is synchronizing timer with the five users and I'm applying five users over here, clearing the result and running it again. So here five users will go to the request one once all the users completed got the response from the request one then all user apply on the request two so by this way we have implemented this scenario in which we can hit some pages or some part of the application simultaneously or we can say concurrently the same scenario we can implement in load runner as well in load runner this functionality is called rendiguous point Thanks for watching this video.